Hey guys, MA Fish Guy here doing a video on how to breed the fire moss cichlid. Uh, these guys are pretty easy to breed once you get them to pair off, but the challenge is actually getting them to pair off and not destroying every fish in your tank. Uh, if you want to be successful breeding these guys, you want to do it in a separate tank. Uh, I breed mine in a 20 gallon tank, uh, but you can do it in a 30, 40, really doesn't matter, just pretty much anything above uh, a 20 or larger. But with these guys, the best way to get a pair is to get about six or eight of them while they're real young and let them mate and pair off by themselves. It's usually the most effective way of doing it. They all mature at a different rate, um, some within a couple of months. I've gotten mine, and within two months they've paired off, and, you know, bred and everything like that. But what you can do to kind of help increase that is you can help them pack on some size by feeding them some high-protein diet whether it's frozen bloodworms, brine shrimp, uh, any kind of frozen meaty food, any kind of high quality flake food, cichlid pellets, they're going to pack on some size real nicely. Also what you can do is once you get them to the size, usually when two to three inches is when mine start breeding, you can actually raise the temperature of the tank up to about 78 to 80, usually a couple degrees every day. You want to raise it, you don't want to raise it too fast. Um, that way you can kind of help coax them into the breeding mood and get things rolling that way. Continue to feed them the frozen food. I do mine two to three times a day. That way they, they get the most nutrients that they possibly can. So after you've raised the temperature, the pH really doesn't matter. It could be anywhere from 6.0 to 8. I keep mine around 7.8. That's just naturally what my water is in this area. Uh, so they pretty much just don't really care. Next you want to get some kind of structure that they can breed in, whether it's cave, like a clay pot right here, or a couple slate stones. It really doesn't matter, they're going to pick any kind of cave. If there isn't a suitable cave-like structure in the tank, they're actually just going to hollow out the gravel and pretty much um, breed inside of a pit in the gravel. So either way, if you don't have caves in there, they're going to breed no matter what. Uh, these guys are pretty much comparable to the convict cichlid when it comes to breeding. Pretty much put a male and a female once you know and they'll pretty much go. Uh, you can also do this with um, driftwood as well. So it kind of set up like a cave like just like this. Alright, when it comes to sexing the fire mouths, this is where it gets a little difficult. That's why they recommend that you get them six to eight in a pair and they'll pair off by themselves but if you want to try to and this can be kind of difficult to give in the settings the males are going to have a real deep red coloration under their throat and the females are going to be more of a dull if not lacking the color but that can be kind of difficult especially if you're in a pet store and the fish are stressed out all in the corner um, if they're stressed out in your tank at home if there's other fish bullying them uh, there can be a lot of different factors of that so you want to keep that in mind um, other people say that this has to do with the blue and the spots, and but any kind of fire mouth breed I had, uh, the females are always a dull red on the bottom and the males are always a real, real dark. But what's nice is once these guys breed, the one of the best parents that you can get for a cichlid, uh, keep doing the frozen food if you possibly can. If they're going to eat it, sometimes they withhold and don't eat it. But once they lay the eggs, they hatch after about three days, and the male and female will take turns of guarding them and fanning them to make sure nothing happens to them, and pretty much protecting and tearing up anything that comes within contact with the eggs. So you want to make sure that you have these guys in a separate tank because they will destroy whatever else you have in there. Uh, like I said, after about two to three days, the eggs will hatch. The fry become free swimming usually within a week. Uh, you want to start feeding them baby brine shrimp, crushed flake food, usually within the fourth or fifth day uh, after they hatch. Uh, even if you feed them too soon, it doesn't hurt. So that's how to breed fire moss cichlids. Uh, if you have any different tips on sexing these guys, like I said, just dull for the female, bright red for the boys, and uh, good luck breeding them.